Good afternoon, guys. Put your well, safe off several and max on either side. We'll set an embargo part way through the tempest this evening. Can we start, please? Mike? Afternoon, Pat. I think you know where we're, we're going to start. Um, the return of Ilkay Gundogan. Um, how happy are you that he's back? Yeah, a lot. Uh, when most of the times all the managers, we said that uh, finish the transfer window, everything can happen. This is the real proof. So it was a completely surprise and expected. And, and you know, it happened. And we know him quite well, me personally, but the staff and the players and everyone. And, and you know, the quality that he played last season in Barcelona, like, he played in a high, high level and consistency, playing a lot of minutes, games, and and producing a lot. It was uh, we didn't have any doubts, but the possibility was open. And uh, yeah, absolutely delighted that he's back. Um, I was going to say, is it, was it a no-brainer when Cheeky put the idea to you that that Gundogan could return? Was it an easy yes from you? Yeah. Um, what is his role going to change this time? Now he's he's a year older, or you you found a solution in your your of squad course without it? Of course, he's not a teenager anymore. But uh, the reason why we decide that the chance to do it is is for the level he played last season. So in the, his season last season was not, you know, playing the level that we expect he's going to to deliver. Maybe you have to think about it, but. You know, even the Euros playing uh, with Nagel, with national team, with Nagelsmann played really, really good as well. So that's why, and he knows what we want to do. He doesn't need adapt. You know, he knows the city, he knows the club, the mates, and the way we want to play. So we'll be immediately, you know, settle, settle. I, I guess good, and and that's why we we didn't we could do it, and we did it. Um. Have you have the players voted for their leadership group yet? Because Ilkay was no. captain, so you, would you expect him to be back in that five? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Pep. Um, Ilkay said in his interview on his return just how important your role as his manager was. He was obviously so success, successful here. He said you're one, of your, you're one of the best managers, if not the best manager in the world, how does that make you feel when a player returns to the club and speaks so highly of you? Yeah, I appreciate it, but the important is that we want to come back. So, you know, he... The Chiki got a message from Chiki, so we can want to talk to you, want to call you, OK? So he he called me and, and, and asked me the situation I was so the if the chance to come back if you would like it and we say yes immediately so this is the most important thing I know we are here and he has to deliver a good season a good two seasons here this is now what you have to work with so he he does had the feeling doesn't come to retire or doesn't come here to okay to remember the good memories that we had we have time to have the good memories in the future but now it's time to you know shoes on and play your best. 44 games at home, unbeaten, such a good mood after obviously the first win and then also the re-signing of Gundogan. How excited are you for this first home game of the season? It's which town is only I'm concerned. Uh, two teams have made promoted the League One, the Championship, Championship to the Premier League with the same manager, with the clear patterns. With the, It was the team in the first game of the season for all Premier League, the most intense team have... You know, that is only I'm concerned right now. I know, I understand that Ilka is a, a highlight today, but since I stand up for this room, it reached down is only I'm concerned. Um, talking to some of the other players, Savino picked up a, a slight knock and knee injury during the, his debut. He was back training in midweek. So where is he with his recovery? And will we expect to see him on, on Saturday? Savino. Uh, Savino. Uh, yeah, feels better. I don't think he's completely, completely top, but. Uh, yeah, I made part of the trainings and he's developing really well. We will see today, tomorrow, uh, what you're going to do with him. Hi, Pep. Um, one of uh, Yukai's quotes, he said that the package that Man City offers nowadays, you can't find anywhere else. Does, does it surprise you to hear that? It's a privilege for all of us, yeah. 
it's an honor. Do you know these words? Because that means, because the package means the city, means the club, the club means everyone, staff, our staff, uh, these buildings and commercials and everything. So I said many times, so the club has been run from Ferran for all the people amazingly and and you know, so me as a manager, I think the players, so they have everything what they need to perform as much as highest level as possible. This is what the biggest clubs define. The titles, of course, but how we behave daily, day by day, in all the structure. And there are a lot, a lot of people working behind us, the manager, and especially the players. And that's why it's a comfortable place to be. It's something that you have said many times, how comfortable yeah. the place is to work. Um, yeah. But it's different when someone goes to a club like Barcelona and comes back feeling the same thing. Um, so you can see that out there, it is different. I just spoke a little bit with Ilka and he had been incredible words about Barcelona, about his experience there, for the city, for the people who were there, and for the players. Uh, speak so highly about uh, his experience there, and but the situation everybody knows in Barcelona, and it happened. It wasn't expected, so I didn't call. We didn't call Kuhn and said. Oh, I, because I, I could not expect because he played really well last season. Still, I know how competitive he is, how he drives you know, his mates to, to his best. And, and when it happened, I said, yeah, you know, I love midfield players. I love his qualities. He gives us incredible alternative in the way we want to play. He adapts in two, three roles perfectly. He knows everything. He doesn't need time to how he settle. You know, if tomorrow has to play, okay, he knows everything. So that's why it's it's comfortable for us. And I know his mentality is always in the right position. He he doesn't come, as I said before, to okay, let's let's go into late. The last two years he had a completely different. He, I know he will be upset when it's not going well. He will be happy and thinking on the next, on to next. You know, when it's going well. So and that's why we. Is back one person that does be loved for the, his mates, also so important. Everyone is so thrilled and happy that he's back for a fans, I'm pretty sure of that. And and yeah, he's going to, to try to fight again with us. Hi, Pep. Um, it feels quite sentimental with Ilkay coming back. Um, another one of your former players is also available. Uh, and how likely or possible maybe Raheem Sterling? Any chance you might want to bring him back to Manchester City as well? It's, it's a Chelsea player, absolutely a Chelsea player. I know, I have, I'm feel so attached. But the time we live together with Raheem, and of course I'm feel attached with Enzo. So I just wish him all the best. But he's of course a Chelsea player. If you ask me this question when Gundo was in Barcelona, I will ask you this, answer the same. There is one week left of the window um, with Gundo and coming in. It's a big reinforcement. But are there? Chances, or how likely is it that you'll get anyone else in? Do you think in the next? I week? don't know. I don't think so. But the way I said before, so I don't know. It's going to happen at the end of the market. Maybe happen something in terms of injuries. Hopefully not. In terms of I don't know. The market provided something expected that financially should good for us or for the tactical wise as well. So right now I don't think so. But I don't know. Can I finish just by asking about Rodri because he. I didn't see him at training in midweek. Um, how is he? Is he back he's with getting the group better. yet? Is he's he with the group yet? No, no, he's not a group. Maybe today we may a partial, maybe partial training, but still is not is not uh, is not good. So not for the weekend. I don't think so. I don't think so. But we will see today. Now her training at three, we'll see. Thank you. Last one before the embargo, please, Simon. Hi, Pep. It's just a quick one. Um, with Elkai, will he be involved in the squad tomorrow? Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh, we need the paper. The Ale Alex told me, <laughs> you can say to the guy. International player. International, some paper, but if arrive in the last day, yeah, maybe it will be, will be available. Yeah. Set the embargo for 10.30 this